Okay, Smith, um, adding a course to ClickFunnels is actually quite simple. Let's uh, go over here and open this up. And so here we are in uh, one of my workspaces, and all we're going to do is come down here and click on Funnels. <coughs> and let that open up, and then we're going to come down here to Courses. And we're just going to add a new course. So we're going to just say here, Create a Course. And in this case here, you can you can test either one of these here. I'll just show you how to do a custom one. And we're going to go to the next step. And we're going to give it a title. And we'll just call this our test course. Probably have 20 of them called test course in here at this point. And now we can uh, default system theme is what is set to right now. So if you want to use a different theme for some reason, you can come in here and you can pick a different theme. So let's say we want to use the launch boss theme that I must have loaded up in this workspace. So we're going to do that. We can put in a thumbnail image for this uh, course. <coughs> and let's just do that. I'll show you where that comes in. Let's just take a picture of Russell here in the old picture. And we'll go to the next step. And now it's going to create the course, so let me pause for a second. And now here it says we can add a module, but let's go back out here to click on the courses again. And I'll show you, see now put that image in there, it's not the best image, but you get the idea. And so we want to come into this course, and um, you can see over here we can open the course in a new window. We don't have anything in there yet, so it's not going to be working. We can duplicate the course. We can edit the layout. Uh, I think this would probably edit the layout of the course homepage. If I click on that, and I'll show you about that in a second here, and then we can do edit settings. And so we can come into our settings, we can put in our title and our description for it. Uh, we can send enrollment emails or turn that off. We can set it from draft to public or publish, which of course you have to publish it before you're actually going to be able to see it live anywhere, including in preview mode, I think. Here's our theme again. Here's our thumbnail again. We can change that image because I didn't like the one we put in there. So we can change that thumbnail image and let's put this one in, better picture of Russell there. And we got <coughs> settings for the, the learning hub. We can come down here to our advanced settings. And in here, we can pick the style guide that we want to use. So you can set up a style guide. And you can see i got a whole bunch of them in here. But let's just take this one. And then we can set up the course home template, the module template, and the lesson page template. And again, those are all built right into ClickFunnels, the standard ones, and then you can also create your own as well. But let's just say we're going to use what would normally come with most of these themes, which would be something that would be like an example course template page. We would just choose that. We can do the same thing with the modules or the lessons. And so this would do it the entirety of the course wide, or you can do it individual pages and individual lessons and individual modules alone as you're going through. So you can set you can set everything here, and then let's say you got one lesson that you want to have use a different uh, different template. You can change that out as you go on the fly, and so we can set all this in here. And let's just say we're going to update the course then. You can generate a share funnel, all that. And now we're going to go in and to work on the course, we're just going to come over here and click on test course, uh, which is the name of it. And then we can add a module. We can just call this here module, uh, module one. We'll add that. We can add another module. So here we go, add another module. And we can call this here module two and let's just add another one real quickly here because I'll show you a couple more things because I can't show you everything you need to know about my um, everything in here so we'll go to module three module three let's do that and then inside of one of these modules let's put in a couple of lessons and so we'll just come in here we'll add a lesson and in this case here we will just call this one L1 and let's make an L2 as long as we're at it. So we'll do that real quickly here. Add a lesson. We're going to go L2. And we will create the lesson. And we can select our images here as well. We can put in a thumbnail image for it. In fact, let's just put in a thumbnail image for this one. And let's use this right there. Got the thumbnail image for it now. And I do believe that should show up right in here maybe it doesn't so that'll show up somewhere else um <coughs> forgetting oh i know one of the places that will show up is if you do a lesson collection on a page then it'll show all the lessons and it'll have those images in there for that and then um in order to get this to work 
to be able to see any of these then once you go live after you build out your pages you have to make sure you publish this here but also you have to have at least one module published and you also have to have these lessons published as well so you can uh, set all that as well these modules down here you can move these things around so we can go right there so right now i just put this module as a sub module to mod module one so we got module one inside of module one is module two and now these two lessons or we can take this out of here and we can move it down below here so you can reorder this stuff you can do the same thing with the lessons you can move them around so there's a lot of flexibility in being able to move all that stuff around and then after that then you can start customizing everything so we can come over here we can click on these three dots and we can edit the module and again we got all kinds of settings in here uh, I get a thumbnail image for the module and uh, we can say whether it's published or not here. And again, we can come in and we can change the template. So we set the template at the level of the course. Now we can set the template again at the level of the module if you don't want the same template. You can set that in there. Same thing with the lessons. We come over here to the three dots. We can edit the lesson. Here it looks a little bit different because in here, you're going to be building out the lesson itself put everything in here that you want to go in this particular lesson now what's unique about lessons is you're going to have a template for your lesson and then inside of that template is going to have what is known as a dynamic element or dynamic slot or i forget what they call it dynamic something inside of there is the part that you build here so what you're building here goes into just a box inside of the larger lesson template so you come over here <coughs> you can choose your uh, media again you can put in a thumbnail a video audio that will then the video and the audio will play only on this lesson that's the only place anyone will ever be able to see them because you're associating it directly with this you can change out your path and again in here then again for this particular lesson you may want to choose a different template you could choose that different template there and you can even choose a different style guide here at this point as well you may also be able to choose the style guide um, with each module as well so there's just infinite amount of flexibility on this so now let's come up here this up here would be the course homepage. so somebody's going to go from the customer center to a course homepage. And then inside of the course homepage, you can have modules and lessons, and you can have a sidebar element, and you can have everything else you want on the page. But let's just look at the course homepage. I know I'm doing this very quickly, and I'm only telling you parts of what you need to know, but hopefully it'll be enough to get you started here. So here we landed on the course homepage. So in here, again, this pulled in the template that I have set for the course homepage, or if I don't have one set, who knows, it picked something from somewhere. I forget if I set this as, as we were going through. So in here, we got a sidebar over here. If you want it, you can leave it. You can take it out. You can do whatever. You got a, a universal header across here at the top. And then we got the course title here. The print on that is very small, so we can uh, increase that a little bit uh, so we can see the course title right there. And then inside of here we have a, uh, let's see here, it's a collection. So this is a course collection. So this is going to course module collection. So this is going to show us all of the modules for this particular course because again we are on the course homepage so we can go to the course homepage it'll show us all the different modules if you want that on your page because you don't really need that on your page because you also have the sidebar on this page so it's kind of belt and suspenders on this one here you can probably get rid of one or the other and beyond that there's just so much flexibility on what you can do in here but hopefully this was good enough to get you started because that was realistically your question is you weren't really sure where to start so I think I gave you enough information here to be able to get you started. Any questions? Let me know.